goals galore at Marconi Stadium. South Melbourne made a promising start with Jason Polak's intentions clear from the outset. It took Marconi just 16 minutes to hit the lead. The opening goal courtesy of a sweetly struck Mike Smith free kick. Although Marconi are an outside chance of reaching the top six, they really had nothing to play for against a side expected to figure in the final series. Steve Corica playing his 100th game made it two in two minutes with a magnificent weaving run that left keeper Steve Mortone stranded. Marconi continued to up the ante. The home side bent on rewarding fans for having to put up with a frustrating season. Smith should have made it 3-0 here. But that honour went to young Socceroo Ufuk Tale, who gratefully accepted Smith's perfect cross. With Konbutsiana sent off on the half hour, it seemed Marconi would rack up a record score, similar to the 7-1 result recorded in the 1993 final series. But to their credit, South Melbourne delivered a tremendous show of courage. Jason Polak finally rewarded for his persistence to make it 3-1. It looked as though Marconi were handicapped with playing with one less man. The Victorians continued with their never-say-die approach. Polak was again instrumental, this time setting up Paul Trimboli. South Melbourne's elation turned to horror shortly after. Corica was left exposed inside the box, allowing Gary Van Egmont to pounce in front of goal. It was the former Socceroos' seal of approval that prevented South Melbourne from closing the gap any further. But the barrage of goals didn't end there. Jeremy Harris capped off a memorable night. His looping header made it 5-2. And although Steve Mangos managed to put away a late consolation, the 5-3 scoreline has forced Frank Arrock to seriously reschedule his plans for the remaining two matches.